Marvis, you just won the Teenage Tennessee Bodybuilding Championship. What's it like being a teenage superstar? Um, it's really, it's really good because uh, you get the opportunity to uh, get more publicity at a young age. Um, I won it when I was only 17, and uh, and I really impressed a lot of people. So good for you. Well, I'll tell you what, I know you are a superstar. Let's take a look at you and some of the other teenage superstars from around the country. In the first half of this decade, public backlash to athlete steroid use led to a marked decline in teenage bodybuilding. To the savvy youngsters of the 90s, trophies and titles weren't worth risking their health. Now, a new generation of drug-free youngsters is carrying on the tradition, pumping iron with dreams of glory in the world of physique competition. Julian Caparou won the coveted Musclemania Teenage Division last fall. The student and electrician from Garden Grove, California, has been training just four years, but his results have been astonishing. He serves as a perfect role model for teenagers who may be contemplating the drug route. What I would say to teens that want to take the easy way out, um, it's not worth it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt them in the end. Uh, might get them big quick, but uh, it won't last. And the uh, best way to do it is just stay natural and take your time with it. Jason Fine just added Teenage California to his streak of undefeated wins. A student and construction worker, he divides his time between San Diego and Las Vegas. Currently, he's considering a career as a firefighter. I like that bodybuilding, you know. It, it, it could be a job, but it's also my hobby, so I'm just looking for something else to fall back on. And firefighting, I'm a person that likes to help people, you know, and I look at that as going out there and helping people, and it's just another fun thing because I'm really active. I like going out there and doing things as a job. But bodybuilding is the number one thing. I'd rather do that as my job if I could. Marvis Raber had just two years of training when he won his first contest, the teenage Mr. Tennessee at the age of 17. His genetics have made the gains come fast, which caused him to abandon baseball and taekwondo to focus purely on bodybuilding. Aside from competition, his muscles have improved his life in an area all teenagers can relate to. When I first started training, I weighed 140. Now I weigh around 210, 25 to 210, parts right there. And I'm pretty lean at 25 and 210. When I was 15, I first started lifting weights. Most girls wouldn't even give me the time of day. Now they, I can't stop them from giving me the time of day. So, yeah, it's, it's helped it in that area tremendously. It's a very big plus. <laughs> it was soon after the famous Northridge earthquake in the San Fernando Valley that Northridge's Jose Mazon began training. The 18-year-old student took second at the recent Team California Championships and has some very practical advice for other teens considering a career in the muscle sport. Start training, see what happens. Take your time, it takes take a while. I mean, if they, they're training, what, two years? Start, I mean, if they put on 20 pounds the first year, it's obvious they got the genetics. So keep it going, you know what I mean? But if not, I mean, if you don't get the genetics for it or whatever, you know, use it as a hobby. Don't, don't think it's, you're going to be Mr. Olympia in five years or whatever. And, I mean, finish school, do everything, get a job. You got to have a life outside of this. And finally, reigning teenage national champion Mike Ferrati from Boston. He gave up football in his sophomore year of high school to concentrate on bodybuilding and recently earned his bachelor's degree in computer science. He now plans to follow in the long tradition of bodybuilding greats from the East. I think we train a lot harder on the East Coast. You know, these West Coast guys, they get the real nice gyms. You know, a lot of pretty girls in the gyms, not wearing too much. Maybe get a little distracted, who knows. I think we just train a lot harder in the East Coast. You know, we don't get the credit we deserve. These are the young lions, some of today's teenage superstars who are keeping the sport of bodybuilding alive and vibrant into the 21st century. For American Muscle, I'm Warren Williams.